You know, it's always been a mystery to me. How did I miss reviewing Meze headphones? This is like the first company who opened the audiophile world for me, Meze Audio. And uh, now we're back at reviewing Meze headphones. Today we have Meze 109 Pro. This is a 799 US dollars headphone. This is a dynamic headphone and the first dynamic headphone from Meze and Rinario Acoustics, the company that designs the drivers for Meze Audio. I don't think that it is a coincidence that the whole package and the whole headphone looks a bit like 99 Classics. 99 Classics have been a full success in the audio firewall. They have been like one of the most successful headphones ever designed in the entire world. They are sold in hundreds, even thousands of pairs. And people love the 99 Classics, even I love them. Back when I first started reviewing, it was one of my favorite headphones. I had it with me every Everywhere, like every single day, everywhere. In time, I discovered better headphones. So Meze decided to create better headphones too. And they designed the Empyrean, which is a high-end flagship headphone that we have not reviewed yet. Hopefully we'll review it someday soon. But today we have a different star. This is the Meze 109 Pro. This is a headphone that really hits close to my heart. Like, I love it so much. Everything about it screams Romania rocks. And even though this is a Romanian company, I'm going to stay neutral about the company. When it comes to the package for a 799 US dollars headphone, it is okay. You get this beautiful carrying case that I find to be really pleasing to use. It looks much better than the one that came with the 99 Classics. They have a little pouch for the cables. We have two pair of cables or rather two cables. It, I don't know if it, is it a pair of cables or just a cable because they have two termination, but just one connector for the headphone jack. At any rate, both cables are single ended and one of them is longer, one of them is shorter. That is the only difference. So the cables are not that much of a bonus. They are good cables though. So you won't need to upgrade the cable. We also have one of those adapters from 3.5 millimeter single ended to 6.3 single-ended adapter, which can be used to connect the 109 Pro to basically any source, like the Aunes 9C Pro. I just reviewed it and I like it. The cable is of a good quality, no microphonic noise, which is surprising despite it being a bit springy. So it doesn't have any kind of memory effect. It doesn't hold memory of how you tangled it, but it can be a bit springy if you can see that. It doesn't tangle at all, which is pleasing. And the headphones are just out of this world when you look at them. There are companies who include more accessories with their headphones, even around the same price point. But what really matters is the sound at the end of the day. You can order an aftermarket cable and Meze actually sells aftermarket cables. So it is not that important. What matters is the comfort, the sound and the build quality. And well, the 109 Pro borrows a lot of elements from the 99 Classics. They have the swivel mechanism, which reminds me a lot of the 99 Classics, which had a very similar mechanism. They also have a much improved arch that goes over your head. And then this headphone supporting mechanism that is really soft and creates a very good balance of keeping them on your head, but not forcing you to wear them. It's like so pleasing. Just look at this. This is everything you have to do. And they sit like at the perfect tension. You never feel them on your head. They are never heavy. They are pleasing to use. Now, although they are open back, they isolate you a bit from the outside noise. You have like between 10 and 15 decibels of passive noise isolation, which is quite good for an open back headphone, but they do leak quite a bit. The ear pads are super soft and covered in the velour material. Just look at this. Incredibly soft. They are quite deep. So I have enough space for half of my finger inside of the ear cup. And inside of the ear cup, you'll find the driver. There is no mesh protecting the driver. Like you see with most headphones, it is just the driver, which has a metallic grill on it and a lot of paper meshes, but there is no mesh made of uh, textile material that would otherwise protect the driver. I don't think that is such a big problem because the only two components that would be inside of the ear cup are your ears and your hair, maybe some dandruff if you have that kind of problem. But I actually suppose that who can afford a 799 US dollars headphone probably already did treatment for dandruff. It's like all cheap shampoos can treat dandruff. So I don't think that someone who can afford those will be too worried about debris entering the driver chamber. On the outer part, we have wood in the ear cup. We also have metal in the ear cup. And despite it being made from such high quality materials, it is not heavy. Like it is really, really light and pleasing to use. The actual weight as measured by Meze Audio is 
375 grams, which is one of the lightest headphones that I've reviewed to date. It is in the lighter bracket of headphones. The heavier ones, like Audese headphones, tend to weight even 500 and plus grams, which you can actually feel on your head, like half a kilo is quite a bit, even for someone who goes to the gym. You can actually order the 109 Pro with a better cable if you want to. And every other technical part you'll explore in my full written review. I believe that it is a better medium for you to read about the technical aspects than me, like telling you about them. Like the technical aspects are mostly not important when it comes to actually using them. What's important is the sound, how do they feel, how hard are they to drive, and what is the general opinion of the public about them. When it comes to driving the 109 Pro, they are quite easy to drive. Like most over-the-air headphones that are dynamic and which have a 40 ohm impedance, and the 112 CPL, they will be really easy to drive. Like you won't have a problem driving them basically even out of portable dongle DAX. They are easy to drive. You don't have to worry about them. Just like the 99 Classics. Although just like the 99 Classics, when you really power them, they tend to sound better. So they do scale quite a bit with the source. And I found that the sound is much better with the high quality source like the GDS Labs Element 3 Mark II or the Aunes 9C or Ibeso DX320 Ti Max. I mean, just having this thing around means that I will be pairing them quite a lot with it. So it is natural. It is natural. You want to hear them at their best because you want to enjoy this hobby. This hobby is all about enjoying music, about an experience as pleasurable as possible and to explore music. That, that is the purpose of this hobby. And for this, I think that the Mezen 109 Pro are perfect. This is one of the most detailed, cleanest, yet with such a powerful bass headphone that it really impresses you. It is perfect for basically any music style. Although they would theoretically favor classical and acoustic music quite a bit because they have an excellent dynamic range and excellent dynamic, excellent impact and excellent punch. They're also very quick in sound so they can keep up with DDM, pop, metal, death metal, basically anything. And they just sound musical. They have so much nuance in the bass, so much nuance in the mid range. The voices are always pleasing and smooth. Everything is just such a pleasing experience with the 109 Pro. It's like they took everything that they had in the 99 Classics, in the Rai Penta, in the Empyrean, every single advantage of all of them and they combine them together to make the 109 Pro. It's like with every single new headphone release, they become better at making headphones. And that is what I like about Meze Audio. They really know how to make a high quality headphone that sounds good. The 109 Pro is comfortable. As I said, it is not heavy. It is light on the ears. It has this beautiful head support mechanism or headband and everything about them is just super comfortable. They don't even have a lot of microphonic noise. So everything about the usage is comfortable. Now when it comes to the sound, you will enjoy them with any music style and I've enjoyed them with Metallica as much as I've enjoyed them with Tiesto and with Dad Mouse and with other house and dubstep artists like Zomboy and they're just enjoyable. They produce such a natural and smooth texture, yet they have all the resolution that you'd expect from a headphone price at this price point. Comparing them, for example, to the Bayer Dynamic T1 or Tesla One, all generations, they are much, much more natural in the mid-range. They are much less acute in the treble, where the Bayer Dynamic T1 or Tesla One is always incredibly sharp, but it tends to be quite harsh and the soundstage isn't that quite that wide. It tends to be quite a bit more narrow. Well, the soundstage on the 109 Pro is natural. It tends to develop all around you. Music tends to happen both in width, so it extends widely around you, but it also has good depth. You can tell where music is coming from. You can tell where a sound is coming from, how far it is away from you. And they have this just beautiful imaging and soundstage. They sound quite holographic but at the same time, they don't force you to hear a very wide soundstage. They remind me a lot of a much warmer, much smoother sounding Audes LCD5. They have many of the things that I liked in Audes LCD5, for example, exceptional resolution. Well, they don't quite have the resolution of Audes LCD5, but I guess that we'll have to hear the Empyrean to compare it to Audes LCD5. The 109 Pro though, at about 1000 US dollars, it is a king when it comes to detail, resolution, and overall clarity of the sound. They are just so clean, so clear, yet non-invasive. They are never sharp, they are never harsh, and they are never fatiguing. I really like this about them. They also sound incredibly dynamic. So you typically wouldn't expect the sound to be so direct, so dynamic, to have so much difference between the quieter parts and the louder parts. To be able to paint emotion so well, to be so emotional, 
emotional yet so controlled yet never fatiguing. This is how I would describe the sound of the 109 Pro. The closest headphone in pricing to the Meze 109 Pro would be the Dan Clark IM1 Noir 2, which is priced at 899 US dollars, so about 100 US dollars more. And I think that comparing them would be interesting because they both have excellent sub bass extension, but the mid range comes through as being much more forward on the Meze 109 Pro. So those ones don't have a resist mid range. While Dan Clark Aeon Noir 2 has a much more recessed mid-range, the mid-range is pushed back, so they create a wider soundstage, while Meze 109 Pro creates a more natural soundstage, they tend to be smoother in the texture, they both have pretty much the same resolution, but they express music slightly differently. Because Aeon 2 Noir has a recessed mid-range, you hear less detail from the mid-range, while with 109 Pro you hear more detail from the mid-range. With Aeon to Noir, you hear more detail in the upper treble and you hear more air and more sparkle, while the Meze 109 Pro presents music more smoothly, more relaxed and yet more natural. Both of them are quite excellent for all music styles. I tend to prefer the Dan Clark Ion to Noir with electronic music, while I tend to prefer metal, rock, even jazz, even classical music with Meze 109 Pro. Both of them are quite excellent though, so you wouldn't be disappointed with either. But I really enjoy this one. Like this one is super enjoyable. It is enjoyable when it comes to the comfort and when it comes to driving them and actually using them outdoors because usually I don't really take the Ion 2 Noir outdoors. It is a bit heavy, it is a bit tight on my head for taking them outdoors and it is also quite hard to drive. Well, the 109 Pro is easier to drive so I don't really have to stress too much about the source. They are lighter and they are more comfortable so they will get more head time from me. And that is important. You really need to consider this. When you purchase a headphone, it has to both be comfortable, practical, and you have to like the sound. With Meze Audio, you are mostly guaranteed to find the best comfort and the best design in their headphones. They are all made very ergonomically and the company studies the anatomy of the human head quite a lot to design such comfortable headphones. But then again, when it comes to the sound, we all have our tastes and I really highly suggest you to listen to them before purchasing if you can. And if you liked what you heard in today's video review, you can actually order them. Meze has a very healthy return policy if you don't like the headphones and you should be able to find something that you like from them too. They also have other models and I will hopefully be reviewing all of their models in the near future. Please wish me luck to be reviewing more headphones faster and better for you. I thank you so much for watching. I am really grateful for having every single one of you here today. I hope that you will find it in your heart to press on that subscribe button so that you can see more content from me, to press on that like button. Please spread the word about my YouTube channel and also if you want to donate I have a PayPal link in the video description and I would really appreciate all of your help. Thank you so much and I hope you have a lovely week out there. Bye bye!